Hello friends. Today again I'm going to talk about calculation groups. I use it very widely, so there's a lot more things I come across and that's what I want to share with all of you. In today's video in calculation groups, we're going to see how if we don't pay attention in developing calculation groups, we can run into some issues. In this video I'm going to specifically talking about drill through when using calculation groups, how we run into an issue or a challenge when we're using calculation groups and then we are drilling through into a page. Let's get to Power BI, look into the calculation groups and then see how the drill through is a challenge and what is the way to resolve it. Let's get to Power BI. So here I have a Power BI file. Uh, I have a two calculation groups. Uh, one is analysis criteria and one is analyze, analyze what. So basically uh, what I have here is, if we look at the data model, uh, sales table has, sales table has a relationship with calendar on different dates and uh, what we're doing in analyze, analysis criteria is to switching between order date, do we want to see uh, by order date or due date and ship date. So this is happening through the calculation groups. And also analyze what do we want to see order quantity or number of orders or sales amount. So basically now we have only three measures underneath which allows us to uh, use any of the inactive relationships. Uh, there, is a, there are a, um, a blog post on how you, how you make it work, but I can quickly walk through this as well. So if we go through uh, in tabular editor, if we look into our uh, calculation groups, <clears throat> what I have here is uh, analyze analysis by, so I have three um, calculation items in there, order date, due date, and ship date. In order date, I'm just returning the selected measure. So whatever measure we are using in the visual, this function returns that. And it is using the active relationship between the date table and the order table. When we select due date uh, from our calculation item, it, select, it uses a selected measure and then use the relationship which is calendar date and the sales due date and so forth so on. So basically we have only, we have the relationship active and inactive made in the, in the based on the selection. So that is what this particular option is doing and choosing between order date and due date and ship date. And one, when we go to uh, analyze what do we want to see um, um, you know sales amount or number of orders or order quantity so that is done by the a second um, calculation group which is uh, analysis what so in case of order quantity we are saying okay if the selected measure is not a title because we are dynamically create title is a measure we are dynamically creating that so I will show you what that is. So what we're doing is if the selected measure is not a title, then return the quantity when I choose the quantity uh, option, calculation item. When I pick the number of orders, then get me the order count. This order count is a measure and um, order quantity is a, uh, this quantity is a measure and sales is just a measure. So those are simple sum measures on the sales uh, table. So based on what we select here, uh, if it is not a title measure, then it return the respective respective uh, measure. So, if now what is happening? If I'm doing number of orders, I'm seeing number of orders, it sales amount, and whatever date I want to choose. The title uh, again is a, a measure. Which um, if I could, if we quickly look at that, we are uh, saying is what we are analyzing what and uh, concatenating it and then analysis by. The reason I'm concatenating before I have, does not have a single selection, I have a multiple selection. So I want to say uh, sales amount by order date and ship date or something like that, or uh, 
um, you know, so that's what I was using it for different purposes, but uh, I could have just used the values as well since, since it's a single selection. So this title is coming from this, this measure. So as I go ship date, it shows me sales amount by ship date, which is generated by this measure. If I'm clicking number of order, so it is giving me number of, number of orders by ship date. So now this is this is working as expected. Until now, what we just saw, like I have a two calculation groups. One uh, is allows me to select which date to use, and other one is allowed me to what measure I want to see in my visual. It's all perfectly fine until this point. But the the challenge which I wanted to discuss in this video is that when you drill through from this page to let's say another page, I want to see the sales or whatever uh, you know details by customer or by product. That's where the actual uh, challenge is. Uh, I will show you what the challenge is and then we will have a fix on that. So here I have a drill through page um, with a simple matrix in here, a country, state and customer on the rows and then all the measures which I want to see. And then there is a, on the drill through, I have a month, quarter and year. And if I go to my overview page where we have this, uh, um, calculation groups and all this visual is set up. So on click of uh, right click of this any bar, I can go and go details by customer, so which will take me to the uh, drill through page. Um, so let's test this and click on this one and go to details by customer. Once we go there, now here is the challenge. As you see, order count quantity and sales all showing the same value even though if you look at the where in the matrix visual i have a order count count quantity and sales measure but it is repeating the same value for each of the measure if i quickly go back here again and um, if i pick up sales amount and right click drill through details by customer and what you see is now the sales amount is repeating in all the measures. So basically, whatever I'm selecting in Analyze What is showing me on my drill through pages for a uh, drill through page for all the three measures. First, we need to understand why this is happening, why we are seeing same value for all the three measures when we have selected different measures in our metrics visual on value section. To understand this, what we need to look into the drill through section. So if you look at the drill through in the keep all filters, what we have is of course month of June 2019 came from our overview page. No quarter drill through, no year. It is drilling through on the month. And look at the analysis by and analysis what. So those slicers are getting passed to this page. So we are see, have the ship date selected. If we look here, we have a ship date selected in our analysis criteria. It, this value is getting passed. So we are seeing this number based on the ship date. And then also analyze what is sales amount. It is passing at a uh, whatever we have selected here is also getting passed into our drill through page. Now, because uh, in our calculation group, in analyze what we said, if the, let's look at the calculation group. And in the sales amount we're saying, okay, if this calculation item is being used, then return the sales measure. So if number of orders is, uh, calculation item is analyze what is used, then return the order count. So this is what causing to, that we are seeing the same value because our calculation item is returning the sales amount because that option, that calculation item has been selected. Now, one, we can, we can look at this, okay, why we have keep all filters on, why not we turn it off and uh, remove these ones for now, and then it should fix it. Um, so if we go here and go drill through, and details by customer. So 
that fixes the issue. But actually, it created another challenge. I show you why. Why we need, need those two um, selections. We need this keep all filter turned on. So let's go back to overview page. I have a product category as a slicer here. Now, if I pick a, I, I have two categories I filter and I click on road bikes. Let's say if I pick the mountain bikes and I drill through on August 2019, which is approximately 0.24 million, 240,000. So if I drill through into this one, so this is what I should see on my drill through page. But what happened in drill through page, if you look at the sales, I see all 537,000, note 241. And the reason behind that is our drill through page is only getting filtered on month, not on the product. And the reason behind that is that we have keep all filters turned off. If we want our all the slicer options come from our overview page to the drill through page, then we have to turn this uh, keep all filters on. Now, if I go back and I have a mountain bike selected, and if I click on August 2019, details by customer. Now it does filtered for August 2019, and it also filtered for uh, mountain bikes. And we see the $241,000 sales, but the, again, we are back to the challenge that all the measures are showing the sales value or whatever the calculation item is selected in analyze what if I have an orders quantity and I should see a if I go details by customer I am seeing all the three measures now showing 114 that's the quantity so so we have to keep our keep all filters on what we need to do is we need to fix the calculation items that return the measures the we know the problem, why it is happening. And now we can go back to our calculation group, specifically to each calculation item. And we have to make a fix there to get this thing going and to make it work. To do that, let's get back to Power BI and apply the fix. To apply the fix, what I did is I added a table in my model, which is a hidden table with two options. One is uh, that I call the table apply calculation group. And it has simple one column called apply calculation group with the value yes and no. So this, this is going to drive the logic for our fix. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going back to my calculation um, in tabular editor. The fix is going to be in our calculation items. We are going to put another condition based on the new table we uh, created called apply calculation group. I already put the fix in calculation item. Let's just uh, have a quick look at it. So what I did is if selected value on apply calculation group is equal to yes. So we want to apply the calculation group. If the value selected is yes, or if no value selected, then by default it is yes. So we want to apply the calculation group. I can have the default value no here. It's up to up to you what you want to do. But in my case, if in that apply calculation group table, no value is selected, the default value is yes. So if the value selected is yes or blank or no value selected, then return the order count. Otherwise, return the selected measure. Again, the selected measure is whatever the measure is in the value section in the visual, just to return that measure value. Uh, and I did it for all the three calculation items in same number of orders. If selected value is apply calculation group is yes, then order count and also with the sales. Now let's apply these changes. Go back and in our detail by customer page, which is a drill through page, on our filter, what we will do is, I will pick apply calculation group, the new table which I added, filter on this page, and I select the value no. 
So what does this is telling that when I'm coming to this page, don't apply the calculation group because I put that logic in my calculation item. Now, if I go back to my original page and now if I drill through to detail by customer, I will see my matrix visual or drill through page is working as expected. I can go back to my overview page. I pick my sales amount. And now my this visual is showing me the sales amount by ship date. I drill through into details by customer. Now I see the 240,000 depending on the product I selected. So as if we can see here, we have mountain bike selected year 2019 and month August 2019, and we are getting the correct values. If I go back and select all the products, so $6 million sale and 50, and this one drill through details by customer, and I see $551,000 sales for all the product. So what we have is we have keep all filters on. So all the filters which are coming, we are using those but on the calculation group specifically analyze what we have we are using apply calculation group table and checking the value selected value if it is yes then only apply the calculation group or uh, the logic of the calculation group otherwise if it is no then do not apply that logic as you saw it was if you are not paying attention when you are developing calculation groups and calculation items, you can run into these kind of challenges and this can be really hard to find out what is going on. I hope with this step by step showing why we are getting all the Mayas were getting the same value when we were doing the drill through and what was the fix. The fix was not that complicated, but you have to pay attention when you are developing calculation groups you can run into these kind of issues. I hope you find this video useful. I still have a couple more videos to do on calculation groups. It's really interesting area and I enjoy working with calculation groups. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.